A mower so easy, an eight-year-old could do it. Next on Drink Smoke Bill. Welcome, I'm Billy D, and this is, of course, Drink Smoke Build. And today we are going to be going through this Cub Cadet mower and then using it for the very first time. So, first thing I want to talk about on this mower is the fact that when I got it at the Atwoods, I got it home and did not realize that this bolt to hold this arm on was missing. Now, this is the very last one they had at Atwoods. This one was here. And I was able to actually grab an old one off of my old mower over there, which is not even the same mower. It is a Honda, but evidently that is a fairly universal part because the exact same one was on it and I was able to use it to get this one going. Not very happy it wasn't there, but the Atwoods is over a 30 minute drive for me so i didn't want to mess with trying to get them to replace it or buy a new one so that worked out great so let's go ahead and talk about this mower and some of the features and benefits the first thing is i always 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 get a mower with big back wheels i don't understand the small back wheel i've used them before they make them harder to maneuver harder to push the bigger back wheels make all the difference in the world to me I do like one with the self-drive. We do have an acre that we mow here, so it is nice to not have to push the entire time. And then, of course, this does come with a side discharge and a bag. I am not going to put the side discharge on there. I like to use the grass clippings for my gardens. So, again, this is brand new, and I haven't had a chance to use it, so I'm not exactly familiar with how the self-drive works, but I think, like a normal lawnmower, you pull this up to start it, and then I think that this, you push forward and that engages the drive. We will see, but I think that's how it works. Here's the specs on it. 159cc, the SC300 HW front drive high wheels. Don't know what most of that means, but sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and get some gas in it, get the oil in it, and then let's get to mowing. So fortunately, it came with the exact amount of oil that it needs, so I don't have to go out and buy oil for it. I did reference the owner's manual to make sure that it looks like it has oil on it. Um, it does. Okay. That makes me nervous. I really don't want to end up draining oil out of it but it's... yeah you know just to be on the safe side so i don't overflow i should release this to make sure that somebody hasn't added oil to it already um let me grab my wrench it's close by so this was supposed to be brand new even though it was the last one don't mind the dust that was after i bought it Jeez. All right, there we go. See if oil comes pouring out. Nope, there is residual on it. So I'm assuming that maybe at the factory, they uh, put some in it to make sure it ran and then drained it. So good thing I checked though, cause you never know, it could have been bought in return and them not say anything about it or not know so like i said better safe than sorry and overfill it oh dokey 20 ounces according to the owner's manual that's exactly how much is in this on the hatch Woo. doesn't like the fast flow 
It is nice though, this nice little pour spout instead of having to worry about a funnel. Alright, gas her up and get her mowing. Oh! Tiny tank. Well, we started up on the very first pole. Moves very nicely. I was right, just nice little nudge on this and it goes forward. Uh, I am going to lower it a little more. Had it on three just to kind of see if I like that. It's definitely too high. I'm gonna lower it. Down to two. See how I like that. I'm gonna do the rest of this in time lapse. Okay, so first bag is filled up. I'm going to push it back to the garden and talk to you guys about uh, my first impressions. So first thing is it could cut better, but that's not really the mower's fault. That's because it doesn't have a mulching blade on it and my grass is ridiculous. It always has been. And so a mulching blade will help tremendously. Um, other than that, this, uh, this mower, I like a lot. One thing I, I will say though, is that this bar right here, it, when you go to pull backwards, because you have so much more leverage than like a normal lawnmower, like down here, you tilt it back more than you want. And so if you're trying to mow backwards, you kind of have to lift up. So I'm going to have to learn to grab it low when I pull it backwards, if I want to uh, mow by pulling backwards, which I do quite a bit, as you can see from the time lapse. All right, let's see how much mulch we got. So, felt pretty full. Oh, look at that, yeah and easy to dump. I've had some that are just really hard to get out. So far, I think this thing is uh, exactly what it's cracked up to be. I don't exactly remember the price. I'll have to look it up. I can't remember. I'll stick it up on the screen here. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching. I will be coming back probably at the end of the season and doing a update to this and see the uh, longevity review on it, see how it has done over the summer. And then of course I'll winterize it. So I will put that in a video here in the fall. If you like the content, if you like this review, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. I am sweaty as I'll get out. I'm gonna take a short break and then get back to this lawn. Billy D, mowing on out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one.